I'm going over our present active participle practice number two for you all. Um, and so I'm going to kind of speed through it a little bit, going over how am I identifying these participles, which we've done so well with, and then identifying the word it describes. Expectanti has an E. That means it's got to be accusative. I know because of my um, third declension endings. So because of that, I know it's got to be amico, which is also an accusative. It doesn't make sense to say an atrium waiting because atriums don't do that action. So with the friend waiting. Contendentes is hurrying. It's got an ES. It means it's more than one. And nobiles is more than one. So that's the only option um, in this sentence. We're visiting the king in the palace. To you offer... Leonem Wexantem, guess what? It has EM, EM. So go figure, they're going to match. Uh, you offer the good girl an annoying line. They're both accusatives. With the merchant, I sell food to the family. Poscenti familiae. This I means it's a dative. So I sell food to the family demanding slaves or asking for family. I'm really throwing in the ings now. Um, but I know it can't be servos because servos is accusative. Kibum is another accusative. Mercatory has an E, so maybe, but not really. Uh, dogs in the street, in the night, watched. Relinquentem lunam. E-M, accusative. A-M, accusative. They're both singular, so it has to be the moon leaving. A la principis amantis means it's a genitive. So I'm looking for another genitive word. And this is it. The palace of the loving chief was the biggest in the city. Fluens has an NS, the nominative singular ending. So it's got to be with our subject, which is blood, sanguis. Blood flowing in the wound is seen by the doctor. Aris astrologi. Uh, Irumpentes in astrologi. Uh, I know because it's genitive. Uh, ears of the astrologer bursting in. Heard Belemicus. Belemicus. Demisic quintum aduantem. Aduo is to help. So this em is accusative. I know it's I know it's got to go with Quintus. So Belimicus dismissed Quintus, helping him out of the house. My big goal for us is to be able to look at these different endings and trying to recognize other words that have similar endings, or being able to know, oh yeah, okay, I see the i. It's a third declension word, so it's got to be a dative. What's my dative indirect object? Or like, what's my genitive word? Or what's my EM accusative word? I hope this was helpful for y'all. Wale and take care.